Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we are continuing our double farm for the Lucky 7 and the Stackbot Glass mod. Here we have the Lucky 7, the weapon that when you reload it, you get one of, or you get to roll five different buffs. And the goal is to try to roll all five at the same time. But when you play Flak, you only really have to roll two, the first one and the fifth one, which this is the demonstration I have for you here, where all my shots will crit and I get seven projectiles. So as long as I hit my shots, I will be getting back my action skill extremely quickly and adding ammo back to the magazine. We're also running the Terror Regen Anoint on our shield and grenade, but part of this God Roll farm is we want to get the Terror Anoint on our weapon instead. That way we can run any shield we want, like a Revolter with action skill start or a Frozen Heart or something like that. We have on the Bloody Harvest event so that we can have access to the Terror and Regen Anoint. As you can see, the, the odds of me getting the perfect Lucky 7 is 1 in 1260. The part, or is that actually the God Roll parts you might find on Loot Lemon? I'm actually going for a max reload speed Lucky 7 instead of a max damage one, and I'll be showing you guys exactly why. If you remember video one, if you were here, you know why. I'll show you guys exactly why we do that after we go on and take on Scrap Chat Prime. You'll notice the Scrap Chat Prime might not be the fastest kill ever here. And that's because we did not roll the element bonus on our lucky seven. Let's go ahead and ping him, make it easier to hit. If we can get corrosive to roll in this bad boy with lucky seven and with automatic crits, then we push through this area so much faster. But just to show you the quick demonstration, that's oh, lucky seven. Oh my goodness. Do not ever tell me the odds. Do not ever. No scope. That's fine with me. I kind of like it better with no scope. Let's go. 2.4 second reload is really fast. It's the fastest I think I've seen with the terror regen anointment. Oh my gosh. We calculated out how much iridium it would take, and if you take 70 rerolls times the 250 iridium it takes to reroll your anointment on weapons, I saved myself 17,500 iridium. Crazy talk. Now I can swap out this stopgap for a revolter or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that, and we're going to we're going to be showcasing this weapon the entire episode. Let's go. So. When I activate my action skill and I shoot, I will start applying terror to myself. There's one stack, there's two stacks, and three should be even bigger. Yeah, there's three. Look at how fast my ammo regen is now. This goes up. And then that added into the fact when I'm auto critting, I'm also getting back ammunition from Leave No Trace. When Flak scores a critical hit, there's a chance for one ammo to be out of their magazine. The chance is 36%. I'm shooting seven shots. So on average, I will be getting back an ammo per shot. So the amount of ammo regen is extremely important on this gun because when you reload, you switch up all your bonuses. So right there, I rolled one, three, and four. So that's going to be auto crit. It's going to be elemental, which we don't know the elements yet. And it's gonna be splash damage. So it's shock, auto crit, and splash damage. We reload again. We got crit and splash damage. And every time you reload, it changes. All right, so I got zero there. But if you can roll automatic crits, the correct element, splash damage, and lucky seven, on flak, it goes crazy. I don't recommend getting the fully automatic one because you can't sustain the ammo. Here's a, here's a fully automatic. And I will show you guys with full terrify. Oh, one and seven. And splash damage, beautiful. So I will show you guys with, with full terror how hard it is to maintain this fully automatic version. Okay, we're at three terror now. And it's gone. I mean, you can do it if you tap fire it, but you gotta really tap fire it. You cannot be shooting it very quickly. All right, so let's go to back to Sanctuary and find some stuff to take out. So it took us 14 runs to get the one we wanted. That is incredible. So let's go ahead and grab a revolter. Okay, so we got a revolter. We also brought along some of our other shields, our front loader, our stop gap. Is, we can probably put this one away now. The frozen heart and the super soldier. We have options as far as shields now because 
Now we don't need the terror anointment from our old stopgap. This is where the old terror anointment was coming from. Now that it's on our lucky seven, we can put any shield we want on as long as our grenade has the action skill and apply terror. For our stack bot, we didn't get a god roll stack bot, but we have two good stack bots right here. The first one's good for getting our lucky seven to reload uh, enough times to get the bonuses we want. And the one on the right is better for in combat. So right now, our lucky seven has not the rolls we want. So before we go anywhere, we want to get the rolls. So we want one, three, and five. We just got three. It's going to be just elemental. One and two, fully automatic and crit. We got, it was fully automatic and lucky seven. So, okay, one, three, and five. If it's fire, we good to go. Oh, it's fire. Let's go to the slaughter shaft. As you can see, when you make it to a new area, you don't lose your buff. But you just got to make sure that you be careful not to keep shooting when you don't have your terror active. Let's go ahead and get that terror going. Very nice. All right, let's do the slaughter shaft. Let's show the power. We didn't roll splash damage. That is okay. You don't need that. All right, lucky seven. Show what you can do. We farmed the god roll the hard way. We did not farm Iridium. I need to get my stack bot up and running. And actually, remember, we can switch stack bots. So the stack bot is a class mod that whenever you score a critical hit, you gain increased weapon damage until you don't score a critical hit. And because our lucky seven always crits with and without fade away, we can constantly be stacking stack bot up to 495% weapon damage. Now, when our pet doesn't crit, then... We lose the buff and when our grenade doesn't crit then we lose the buff so we do have to keep stacking the buff up if we want to keep our pet out there that being said it is pretty worth it to have pet out and you can stack up to max stacks pretty quickly um with and without pet doing his thing so look at this this is just it's once the stack bot starts getting a little bit you know, juiced up oh we still have the bloody harvest event on this is going to make this so much harder but we can do it anyways we just came from scrap trap farming so look again, we have automatic crits, lucky seven, and fire elemental. And because we have the terror regen anoint on our Rest now. on our weapon, that means that we can put on any shield. So right now we have on revolter, probably our hardest, most our most try hard. But I can put on a frozen heart as well. And we're gonna want to be for relics. You're gonna be walking, wanting to run a Jacob's Company man with Jacob's magazine size and hopefully a, a weapon reload speed and magazine size rolls. I'll show you mine. Jacob's company man with bonus mag size, both in the top rolls and in the bottom, you can get 50% on top and you can also roll reload speed, I believe on this. So that'd be the best. It'd be magazine size and reload speed or maybe even weapon damage or whatever you can run, whatever you can roll. But like this is absolutely fine. Oh, I go down to that skull. That is a little bit crazy. Okay, we're going to be absolutely fine here. There we go. I, I can check my ammo ever so often just to make sure that I'm not running myself out. There we go. Whoa. I think what could be cool here is actually if we go to gameplay and we take our mini map or we take our reticle location. Because we have it lowered right now. Maybe do we want it centered. That might be a little bit better for this weapon. And you can go for the automatic version, just and you will have more DPS. You're just going to have to be very careful. Very careful about your ammo consumption. There we go. This is just basic mobbing. Basic mobbing. Now, a really good strat that I also like to do for basic mobbing is to run a frozen heart. And instead of fade away, we don't need to run fade away because we're always critting anyway. Oh wait, hold on. We we are in we're in fade away right now. We don't need to run fade away. You can run racks. And so I like to do maybe some some additional racks. And every time I activate my racks, and I get my, I not only am I activating my terror more often, but I'm also frozen. I'm also frozen harding all the enemies around and sending out fire racks at them. So like everything kind of dies around and it not only that the the nova heals me it's like every time i blast people it just becomes so easy for mobbing i think that this might be even better than revolter 
personally. As I go down, but the point remains. We're, gonna, we're, just, we're just not going to die. There's just no way. We have too much accuracy, and our pet will come back and heal us. So we got our... It feels so good to get your own Lucky 7 with Tamara Regen, let me tell you. Because I did have one before, but I wanted to see how the interaction works. So I downloaded, downloaded a mod to make a radium cost 50. And I was like, I should get it in 50 if I have enough rolls. And then I didn't, because I'd already spent like 20k iridium on the reroll so i'm like okay i'm gonna set the 50 didn't get it so then i sent it to zero and got it but then i felt like the weapon was cursed so i got rid of it now that i have my own oh feels so good again you can get this weapon up and running without the terror anoint on it you just need a, a shield with the terror anoint keep keep spamming my action scale here whenever it's up because we are constantly I might have to I might want to actually go for ice racks instead Never mind this is a much harder than a regular slaughter shaft because of the the flying skulls what I think I might do is put on ice racks there we go and that will help me shred down armor targets get this guy right here wherever you are Also, slowing them down, applying that slow debuff is going to be useful as well. Again, we're going to have terror on us all the time because of how often we're spamming our action skill. So. Go ahead and splat them. Super easy. If we spawn a ghost, that's fine. Get frozen. We have two ways to freeze them, both with our Nova and with our Rax. It's absolutely trouncing the slaughter shaft. No fadeaway needed. You can use anything you want. Rack attack. Oh, let's go. The, uh, the, fro the frozen Nova protecting me from the ghost actually is so helpful. Good night. I can't believe we got it. It's incredible on our first run of this of their video. I mean, we're, we're taking this thing. We're taking this thing places. We are taking this thing places. I can also get rid of the graphic in the top left as well. I can do that in between rounds. Unbelievable. 14, 14 runs on a... I, I'm pretty sure this is max reload. If there's one that's fast to reload, I'd be shocked. But if not, I mean, this gun is... It's honestly a good crossbreed. It's not the fastest reload. I don't think, number one. But it's not the lowest damage. So it's, it's a nice little crossbow. You can still reload it quickly. But you can also be doing get damage in the heat of combat. Because then you want you want this extra damage. If I had splash. If I had splash on top of this. It'd be really strong as well. And it's really hard to die when you play flak. Honestly. You just. It's, it's, it is just simply hard to die. We don't even have our bar on. If I, put, if I were to put bar on. Oh my gosh. We would. Off to the races. Let's get out of my face. I'll spend a guardian point, but I'm like, I can, maybe I should keep my bar off. Let's actually let's play with bar on for a second and see how much we can destroy these kids. Oh, badass goon. Later. Now this does have the effect of you know giving that screen pollution, the classic Borderlands three screen pollution, but. I don't really, I don't mind it too much. It's not like Moe's or something like that where you really can't see anything. At least you get to see what you're shooting at a little bit. And I like the Masher version. You can go fully automatic. I just prefer not to. I need to keep, I need to find someone to shoot. Hey, get rid of these guys. It's badass ghosts. Oh, later, kid. Very cool. This mobbing is unreal. As far as bossing, it... It's kind of hard because you, you have to get really set up. You have to get really specific roles on it for the bossing to make sense. Um, I, th I, honest, I think it can take on bosses pretty easily. Like We can take the same thing to Grave Ward and go try it out after we completely wreck the Slaughter Shaft. All right, so let's get rid of that graphic. Okay, round three. Let's see if we can do this entire Slaughter Shaft with simply the Lucky Seven. Freeze all of our enemies. Look at that, super easy. And a ghost. This is as hard as this is literally as hard as a slaughter shaft can get. This is peak difficulty. 
Make sure we keep using our action skill even when we feel safe. Because we need to get the terror continuing on. You can get a different terror generation anointment that isn't on action skill end for every three seconds for the next 18 seconds. Apply a stack of terror to yourself. You can instead get the one that says you have a 50% um, upon dealing melee damage to apply terror to yourself. And you can do, if you're doing like a melee build, let's say like a face puncher, that works too. It doesn't work as well with like a face puncher with this build because if you swap away from this weapon, if you reload this weapon, if your reload animation even begins, if you, I think if your magazine hits zero, no matter what, if you reload, you lose your bonuses. And you get rerolled. Like it, we do not want to get our re bonuses rerolled. That's why we invest so heavy in ammo regeneration. And I get to feel like Moe's for a little bit. I'm not sure it. Moe's is really good with this weapon as well because it has splash damage. So if you roll that splash damage, it just, it just, Moe's gets to use the same gun, but like blow everything up. I'm sure it's OP in all the Vault Hunters, but it's just really nice on Flak to get you back your action skill extremely fast with seven crits. And I also have a point in two fang, or points in two fang. So I can go eight crits per shot, which is ridiculous. I don't, there's no, I mean, there are faster guns to get back your action skill, but I don't think there's anything that rips like this thing does. And every single shot ricochets because it's a Jacob's pistol. Look at that ricochet. So it has AOE. It has single target. It has ammo cons conservation. It has utility with action skill cooldown. It is, I I mean, I mean, give me if I'm wrong, but it seems like the GOAT. Let's go. And I think we, we were rewarded for f <laughs> 14 runs when it's supposed to take 1,200 runs. I mean, that's a reward. I mean, Scra Scrap Chat Prime does have a 50% chance to drop it. But the, the, the odds of us getting the Terror Anointment is 1 in 70. The odds of us getting the... So that puts us at 1 in 140. The odds of us getting the right parts was 1 in 3, 1 in 3, and 1 in 3. So it's times three times three times three. That's where that number came from. And the scope, I didn't, I didn't care about the scope, but I like how I got a non-scoped one. Now, I can, if you have the bloody, um, the bloody harvest event active, you don't have to actually apply terror to yourself. You could just get your terror applied to you from somebody else and just run whatever grand note you not you want. But I like to have much more consistent terror, and it's super easy to farm. It's a 1 in 33 chance for your shield to have the ammo regen anoint, and a 1 in 22 chance for your grenade to have the ammo um, generation anoint. So the which the one that gives you the, the terror. You need something that gives you the terror. I think you can roll that on everything, but you need, I, th I think it's shields and grenades specifically that drop the terror generation stuff. And then the ammo regeneration can roll from your shields or from your weapon. Not the grenade. But you can vendor farm the other one super quick. Like in episode, I'm getting ripped by something. Like, absolutely ripped. Good to me, I'm gonna die. I need to get out of this spot. Wherever I am, This is they're hitting me hard. Okay, don't accidentally reload. Get my stack bot up and running. This round really thought it was gonna get the best of me. Who is it that's hitting me so hard? You? Good night. No, somebody up there. I think. Get closer to my pet. Holy. I can't even hit him. Okay. Let's get over there. It just looks like it's, it's a bunch of enemies. Let's, let's try to see if we can start clearing them out a little bit faster. Focus up. Gotta freeze them. Freeze, freeze, freeze. The luck is incredible. You can see this thing by itself with no other, like literally no other weapons in my inventory period. This thing is just a, a solo ranger. I mean, it really does not have any sort of sidekick energy. Like, if you swap away from it, it loses everything. So it just refuses to go down. All right, this is round four. This is when it starts to get a little bit serious. Oh, Trevenator me. 
I, I downloaded a mod that I have a couple mods active right now. I'll be completely honest with you. I have the one that changes my reload reloader 50. I've I have not used it yet, besides that one time to get the uh, to get the lucky seven with the terror anoint. But I'm considering staying on 50. But the thing is, my account will be forever cursed. It will be forever marked if I use something like that, you know. So I'm probably gonna go back to 250 and just farm the iridium. I have my full iridium set up, and I'm down to do a quest for one million iridium, like. I, uh, the quest for a million iridium would go crazy. And I reloaded. So we are about to witness. We're about to witness the on the fly. Get back our bonuses. We, uh, there's no way we can get this done. It, auto crit is good enough for now. Round four. Let's see if we can get this job done with just auto crit for a second. I don't know if we can. We got to be really accurate. That's honestly not bad damage. Let's see if we can get a better roll here. On the fly. We got damage and lucky seven. Or fire rate and lucky seven. Let's use it for a second. Get some deeps down. What do we get now? Just, just fire rate. That's fine. Okay, auto crits and fire rate. This could, this could actually be these. That doesn't count, or what's going on there? Oh, okay. We did, we didn't get the reroll at all. Just crit. We got fire rate, lucky seven, and splash. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's definitely strong enough. I don't know without the auto crits if we're gonna be able to sustain it. It's not stacking up my stack bot as much. I could run it with like a bounty hunter or something. Freeze him a little bit. It's honestly not bad damage. I'd like to get auto crits though and lucky seven. Auto crits and lucky seven, please. This is why you need one with reload speed, everybody. Because if you're playing with your buddies, you can't just. You can't just stop playing. You know, you gotta. I'm gonna. I might do the keyboard trick once I get the reload that I want. But we're gonna. We're actually gonna go Mega Tech here and switch over to my stack by that gives me reload. Jacob's weapon reloads, Peter. Like, are you kidding me? That's, that's so legit. Want something good. Okay, that's everything. That's everything but fire rate. And it's fire. GG. It's an even better roll. It's an even better roll. Get the terror up and running. We're not dying here. We, we even rolled splash damage. Get our stack bot up and running. And let's make sure that we put our other stack, stack bot back on. Because I think it's a little bit better. Who's hitting me so hard? You? Yeah, I, I, and I do want to have a discussion. I think... I've had one discussion about it on like a Roguelands video back in the day, but there's a lot of like people coming back to the Borderlands community and there's a lot of, you know, where is that coming from? I gotta figure it out. Holy, once, once the screen gets all messed up like that, it gets a little bit craziness. And I have the visual pollution mod um, active, so it's supposed to help with that. But I mean, I don't even have Schluter going. And look at my mini map right now. You know what I'm saying? Let's start fanning the hammer a little bit faster. And this is all without Revolter, by the way. This is all Frozen Heart. Now, I usually like to take an Icebreaker class mod with it. But I, I need this Jacob's Company, man. I just need it. I showed in the last video how you can sustain the semi automatic version with a much smaller magazine. But it's just so much easier. With the Jacobs Company, man. Like you're, when you're using the Lucky Seven, you are giving up. Not only are you giving up two two anointment slots, which are critical in a lot of people's builds. That's next two mags. That's consecutive hits. Okay, gone. You are also giving up your grenade anointment slot. So that's your second anoint that you're giving up. Which is crazy. And if you don't have the right terror anointment on the weapon itself, and you just have a regular, you know, consecutive hits one or fadeaway active one, then you're giving up access to action skill active shields. Like the Revolter, like the Frozen Heart. So you're giving up a lot to make this gun work. I, I really don't mind having a Jacob's Company man do a little bit of carrying for me. 
you know like it's all about juicing up this gun this gun is a, a main character everything else is in support of it the entire build is in support of maintaining this magazine because once you roll the right one it's over it's over i cannot die i don't think not with my pet like you know the flak just feels like if it if you only go down once every like you know like i haven't gone down that much i go down once every few minutes you know and then like when i do go down pet just like brings me back to life like a little broken and this is with bloody harvest active which is crazy This is the hardest mobbing you can probably find, at least for bandits. Okay, round four is complete. I, I almost want to do a a map swap or a you know a mayhem swap here. So I can clear this map out for the final round. So let's mayhem swap. I think it will fail me. It might fail my mission, but I don't mind just taking the L. It'll start me over this round anyway. Go back to Mayhem 11. I just want to clear all the legendaries out. All that loot, I just want to clear out. I should be good. It starts me completely over. Okay, well, we're going to go take on Grave Ward. And I still have my, my god roll here, so let's go take on Grave Ward. Even 6 it is. Okay, so for the action skill, we're going to be rocking Fade Away with Until You Are Dead and Unblinking Eye. This is max damage and without running Gorillas in the Mist. So we only want three shots in our Fade Away. Let's see if we can get this job done. We're going to put on a Revolter for max DPS here. Okay, you ready? The stack bot, it's not charged up at all. Well, let's see what we can do. Activate... Fade away. And that should be it. Uh, yeah, that should be Rip City. That's a one phaser. That's a one phaser. We can maybe do it even cleaner if a second time through. That's before he even got to do anything. Oh, you gotta you gotta reward me for something. You gotta reward me with that. Alright, let's run him one more time. We gotta make sure we do not ever save quit when you have the rolls you want do not save quit uh, do not swap weapons do not reload as long as you follow those instructions you will be just fine let's go mayhem 10 shouldn't really matter i guess it should matter oh can i guess you don't get to save quit farm bosses with the lucky seven unless they are respawnable it's crazy what do you say we go take on Captain Haunt and see if we can get ourselves a Vindicated Cast Call? That could be something fun to do. Let's go. Let's collect some stuff from Maurice. I know a great place to farm some Hectoplasm. Let's go to Athena. Slap on the Super Soldier to showcase what it can do. If you want to run it as option number one. Uh, this guy is just, I think he's just Rye Shielding me or something. Crazy. Okay. Super Soldier me. Later, kid. Oh, frostbite heavyweight. See ya. Right, this is an action skill start so super soldier. Which I think gives you fire rate. So we're not really making use of the fire rate, but it's still good. It, it also it gives you be the super soldier also gives you ammo regeneration. So move speed, fire rate, and ammo regeneration, which is pretty nice. You might be, if you wanted to, maybe use the full, fully automatic version of this gun. Maybe running this. This shield is the way. Okay, hectoplasm me. Sorry, buddy. You didn't even get a chance to move. Magnificent, while terrified, get cryo damage. That can actually give that gun some sauce. Ooh, Lucos. That's nice. Shred a fire. Okay. 
If it, again, I'm looking out for those terror annoyance now. I keep, I'm keeping the terror mode active because I'm doing Captain Haunt. And I was gonna, I was thinking, well, let's go take on the cartels. But I can't save quit. I can't go back to the main menu and activate the cartels. Otherwise, I'd lose my lucky seven rolls. So it, it's a steep price to pay. But oh my gosh, I, I'm never going back. I'm never going back to the non-lucky seven days. It's the best gun. Like in the game, it's like, it's, it's power grab. You know what I'm saying? I think it's power crept. Okay. Oh, it looks like you cl when you see a ghost, make sure you to take it out because that's what drops the hectoplasm. A flamethrower heavyweight? Boom. That's that's in a fire resistant enemy that we just blasted through. Like if I if I really want to, if I really focus on banning the hammer, I can go a little bit faster. I think it you know it's it's louder than the microphone, so. And I've gone into other, like, people's channels and seen, like, can you hear their mouse and keyboard? And, like, most of the time, yes. They're probably not as ferocious as this. Uh... Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's not let the ghost hit us. Yo. No hectoplasm. Can I get some more of that? Can I get some of that hectoplasm? <laughs> Again, you can get up to three terror stacks. And I believe online it says the... At one stack, you get 5% ammo regeneration. At two, you get 11. And at three, you get 16, which is like insanely strong. And it's on the subreddit page. It's like, wow, that's like better than, that's better than Moe's. It's like, yeah, it, te it technically is, I think. But Moe's also has synergy with low ammo weapons. Like she can add ammo back into low ammo weapons. That's not percentage based. With redistribution, with um, pull the holy pin, and of course, with I forgot what this uh, the skill is called, but every like fourth round doesn't doesn't consume ammo is an, and and is incendiary. That's a pretty insane skill. So she can get back ammo in small magazine weapons and big magazine weapons. Whereas this Terra Anoint is mostly meant for you know medium to large weapon magazine size. That's why the ten magazine size on the base Lucky Seven is just not enough. Jacob's Company Man is. I won't say a 100% prere prerequisite, but there's a reason I don't have the Schluter on, is all I'm saying. Can we get some of that Hectoplasm? We've been here in it. Thank you. Legends do tell of some Hectoplasm by these parts. Okay. I think I did test the super soldier with the terror anoint to see if I could sustain the, the fully automatic one and no it just happens all it just happens so fast let me said if you're super careful you can still do it the thing is I just don't want to be super careful like, I want ease of use but the damage on the fully auto one oh chupacabra later kid super sorry about that the Nagata super cool grenade Oh, Hectoplasm. Thank you. My 19 out of 25. Almost ready for the haunting. I was going to say, let's go take on Guardian Takedown, but honestly, like, this weapon, if I was doing, like, a super, like, try-hard Guardian Takedown Breach build, this one would be, like, my opener. You know, like, in the Guardian Takedown, you fight against a lot of fire enemies or something like that. Like, this thing, you need to reload it. It's... It, it takes a lot of setup in the heat of battle. Oh my gosh. It, Trevenator me? Let's go. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. Now that is a crazy anointment, actually. Maybe running that on a shield would go even harder. Now that I have... Let's get a shield with that on it and equip it. Let's go, let's go find a vendor somewhere. And equip that shield. Because I believe... Shields can drop that one. I'm assuming. I can look it up though. Super Soldier is so good on defense. Gives you that immunity time, I believe. I think has a cooldown, but every time we activate our action skill, getting that. There we go. Hectoplasm me. 
when we're plaza looks like uh, looks like i've been here i think i i went through all the different locations but super cab ratch okay yep. we don't need to go back there might be like a little like outstand over there that i could go into i need a i need a shield vendor i think there's one before i think there's one before captain tronth so we'll probably go for a Tron kill while farming our Hectoplasm here. Later, kid. <laughs> the, st the stack by synergy is just insane. And I like to go the melee pet so that the melee pet doesn't... So that you don't... Um, accidentally lose your stack bot stacks. Right, let's go. I just was trying to get Hectoplasm. It's the only reason I was going to those different locations. I'm coming for you, huh? Oh my. Lanta? That one shot me. Now, was that nice to do? The fact that the actual route through Athena takes you through here is a little bit ludicrous to me. It's like it's kind of a back alley way to get the Tron, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, we need to activate our action skill. Are we going to get these badasses in here or what? There we go. Mm. Yeah. I'm not too sure Tron is going to is going to be too happy about what's about to happen. Just saying. Using our action skill right there is control. But where is the I'm just saying where is the vendor? Okay. I want to have my action skill ready. Kind of trolling by not having a free all oh, my bonuses up, but Let's see if we can get through this this phase quickly. You resist that fire. But once we get through it, he's gone. Not a bad run through Athena. Sam got the Hectoplasm to go talk to Maurice. So, okay, no chaos in for real, bro. Let's go talk to Maurice and get ourselves Captain Hot and get ourselves a nice Vindicator God roll gas call. This is how it goes. I'm gonna go one roll. I'm gonna get it. Guarantee you. The gas call is a grenade that when you throw it does some really weird shenanigans. Like, and when you're terrified, it does even more weird shenanigans. Problem is, it can't roll anointed. So I have a gas call. I'll grab that real quick. I have a gas call. But it's not the Vindicator one that splits into two. Or a Vindicator might be three, but I think Vindicator is two. Launches a gas call, which creates gas rifts. So it's a, it's a very strange grenade. The thing is, I can't run it because I need a terror generator. My terror generator is my grenade, grenade spot. And I don't think that the gas call generates terror when you throw it. Could be wrong. Maybe maybe if it damages enemies. It's a, it's a weird grenade, but you want a Vindicator because that's the times two version. Okay, thanks, Maurice. We're heading out. I'm gonna check to see if this thing will generate terror for me. But then after that, uh probably going in the back seat i'm looking for a shield that has i'm looking for a shield and finance there's a terror regen shield see it's really easy to get to be honest i could run a sh i could run a gas call and give the shield the terror anoint or the shield of terror yeah generation anoint okay it'll just look like i got the one that gives me crit which would be nice all right, let's go. We ran Super Soldier for the last one. I'm going to go... I'm going Revolter. We're going Try Hardy. What's up, Rex? You're gone? You're gone? With the Ricochet, you're both gone? Oh, my Lanta. On your Ghost? Good night. We got lucky. So there is a puzzle here. I'm not too sure how the puzzle works, but... Oh my gosh, the revolter damage. So if, let's take a look at when we when we do shoot this. I want to see what's doing more, revolter or base. Oh, I reloaded. Okay, in the heat of combat, he, he pulls through. This guy, he always does. I need to swap my reload key. So why we get one? 
This is why we always get one that is decent on reload. Because these moments are important. And I actually, no meme, have a bunch of points in reload. I have 5 out of 5 in agility training. That gives me 40% reload speed. And I have second intention, which gives me 13% reload speed base. And then after scoring critical kill, giving even more. But that, that part of it I can't really use. Okay, I got auto crit and fire. Okay, that's going to be good enough for that section. That guy. Did I get? I don't think I got lucky seven. Mm, that's a pretty good one, but we're going to reroll it. And we're looking for one, three, and five. But if it go in order, one is automatic crit, two is fire rate, three is random element, four is splash damage, and the final one is lucky seven, seven projectiles. We got crit, splash damage, and lucky seven. It's no element, but we're gonna go with go with it. It will function. I'm not sure how I'm not terrified. Do I not have That's right, I don't have terror generation on right now. That's my bad. That's why I reloaded, probably. No terror generation on. There we go. Sorry, gas call. You're going away for a second. We wanted to check to see if it would generate terror if I hit somebody with it, though. That'd be pretty cool. Let's try that out. So let's grab a gas call. Swap our ammo regen to... Let's just slap on our stopgap. We don't, we don't have a shield that has generation on it. Action skill and generation. That's fine. Let's chill out for a sec. Let our terror drop and use our gas call to see if the gas call will do its thing here and give us some terror. I won't be able to tell with this guy hitting me though, will I? Okay. Let's chill out for a second. That guy can still see me. That's not good. I just want to check to see if this gas call will apply, generate terror for me. And then I can really get, really get strange with it. So, it's doing damage to him. They're hitting him. I'm not getting terrified. Goes off. It's doing damage. I'm not getting terrified. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say, I think it's pretty safe to say it's not going to give me terror. No, slap on the revolter, slap on our terror generator, use your action skill. Fire three shots if you want. Now we're going to get our ammo back. We lost our fire element, but it's not the big deal in the world. We still got splash damage and auto crit and lucky seven. Okay, what is the shield? I got to figure out this shield. It seems kind of broken. There we go. Get rid of that thing over there. No more shields. Oh, shout out my pet. <laughs> when my friends say, because like, I feel like if you, if, and if you ever play with flack, you almost always shoot at the pet, and people always say to me, like, oh, I'm shooting at your pet in an accident. I'm like, don't! Stop! Come on, dude. Like, I don't I, I don't uh, pretend to be understanding at all. Instead, I'm like, stop! Dude! But yeah, I shoot at my pet all the time. Not this one, usually. Ooh, that's nice right there. Bang a ring, XL, do, 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 do. Okay, so I should be looking for something, right? Is there, like, a... A pauser or something? me that I also have on no hidden iridium for mods that's the final mod I have on okay so it's gonna be um I get pink blue orange blue pink I messed it up so sorry you only get one shot at it, and they laugh at you. So it's not pink, blue, orange, blue. It's pink, orange, blue, pink. Or blue, orange, blue, pink. I think I have to, I have to do it left to right. Not the way I just was facing it. Come on. I can't see you in the darkness, but I know you're out there. Borderlands 3. I feel like that's never really a problem in Borderlands 2. And I really want to have a discussion about Borderlands 2 versus Borderlands 3. Because honestly, I've been playing Borderlands 2 with my friends. And they like it, I think. I've been liking it. We keep farming the same two mobs. It, 
It's the Gettle farm for the Veruk and the Laid Milla. That's such an amazingly efficient farm. You over there somewhere? Oh, there you are. So yeah, that was a badass, by the way. So you see, even with no element, this thing goes crazy. Now, if you're fighting against armor enemies like we were for the actual farm, then yeah, you can probably go corrosive. But I believe you can only roll fire, shock, and corrosive. So if you want to bring it to a certain boss, you can only really roll one. And if a boss has multiple health bars, then it's not going to be that efficient. Now, if you have a max reload one, well, it's not really a problem. You can get whatever you want on the fly, as I have proven. Let's go. Captain Haunt, no elements. Let's see what we can do. Vindicator Gas, call me. I'll even let you get your intro, bro. How about that? Captain Haunt. That's Haunt. Okay. Bring it on. Get some terror going. Oh! Easy. Easy. He does not like that. Raid boss? Excuse me? We have to go take on... Chemovorus? Or what? Look at the stack bot damage. Oh! A little bit ludicrous now. I could do this fight all day. Yeah, the music goes absolutely crazy in this fight. What? Later, kid. Dude, Captain Hot music fight? Yeah, it was insane. Alright, Vindicator to gas call me. Ooh, it's a gas call. Not Vindicator. We take those. Thanks, Haunt. Alright, so I want to head to go take on Hemovorus as a final challenge. Let's go see if we can do that. Okay, so I actually have to fight my way to Dark Thirst Dominion through these guys. My first time doing it on Flax. Let's run it. Standard mobbing. Pandora. Bring it on. One shot. Anybody else? Didn't think so. <laughs> With Revolter, this thing goes absolutely insane. I want to. I still want to check to see what we do more of: shock or standard. Oh my gosh! See you later. So let's take the shot. Miss, and if we miss it, it's all ruins. So let's let's not miss it. Oh my shot is literally on the way. Um, press escape and P. There we go. Let's see our damage values. Do do do. Damage numbers sh show. No damage numbers. Strange. Let's do a shot. Okay, let's go see what our numbers are in there. Get me in there. So it's looking like I can get in there. Camera doesn't want to let me in there. If I go to field of view, 5 million for the gun, 14 million for the revolter. 8 million for the revolter there. Craziness. This is crazy talk. You, you really gonna try to stand up to me? I'm getting to Darth Earth's Dominion, okay? Regardless of if you want it or not. I got a job to do. Later. Oh, I get rinsed. No element, no problem. Okay, where do I actually have to go? Across the way here? Don't jump down there. Really? Really? That's where it is? I mean, it makes sense how... It is like a Varkid pit. Yeah, wow. Oh, this is gonna be a tough enemy. Because I... Only have Revolter. Oh, wait. It's gone. Good night. Alright, let's go. 
I didn't take the free iridium. Sorry, I looked for it. Didn't see where it was. If you want to tell me that you can get 500 free iridium before doing this, feel free to tell me. That I know. There is a new use station here. Incredible. Um, we're gonna try to see if my do it all standard build can get this job done. Okay, got it. Oh, come on, Claptrap. Reed says I'm going to turn into robot fluids. Ain't happening. That being said, it's very much possible that we lose to this boss. I think it's time to swap to the Skag. Do you really want to go health regen? Maybe. They actually don't get the... I guess the movement speed probably makes the most sense to me. But the Jabber will always hit stuff. That'll ruin Stackbot. You know what? Let's actually go our boy, our lad. The spider ant. Took the elemental damage over the damage reduction. Ooh, here we go. My first time fighting this raid boss on this character. We couldn't have asked for a better weapon to do it with. I was waiting for something non-elemental. Let's see if we can get it done. Good night. The Humivorous Larva already looking a little bit tanky. Just saying. I can just want to put that out there. Humivorous Adult. I'm not going to be farming this as well. Let's get my kills. I do want to get a Jacob's Company Man with reload speed. This might be my next farm. If I can get... Depending on how this goes, this could be my next farm. But I don't really want to be farming Humivorous if I can't do Humivorous, you know. So let's find out. Applying terror to myself. I'm pinging my target. I can't accidentally... And let's just make sure that we go to controls and turn reload off of R and put it on star. So don't accidentally reload. He didn't want it anyway. As long as my ping system keeps working, we should be fine. Later, kid. You want Vorus Invincible. I get armor, uh, armor shred. Just from being flak. This damage really isn't bad. Vermivorous. I see you. Oh, we go down. Wow, nice hit, bro. It was a cheap shot. I mean, I'll give you that. It was a nice hit. Where's Humivorous? Vermiforce, I don't want to fight you, to be honest with you. I mean, you know what? You're starting to really make me upset. As long as we use our action skill, we are completely fine. Fan the hammer, brother. Fan the hammer. I threw a grenade, didn't need to, but it doesn't mess up anything. Ooh, I'm caught in a corner. Later, kid. Our damage is just out of this world. It's not the fastest Humivorous kill you'll ever see, but we're getting the job done. I'm gonna keep him pinged. Keep the health regen keeping me alive, by the way. Asking for ricochets to do the majority of my work here. Fingers getting tired. Okay, th we're through the armor phase. Let's get, let's get uh, Vermivorous through the armor phase as well. There we go. Now this one would have, be really nice to have fire. Oh, I had to stop moving there for a second to ping him. Okay. I'm not sure if this will be more worth farm than just saying maybe doing sumo for the company man, but... Ooh, there's not much left to kill, to be honest with you. Not, in this fight, I would not blame my pet for not being able to revive me. Pet's almost dead. Just keep, just keep shooting, keep shooting. I think if I if I go into these these electro pools, I'll get healed. No, okay, it does heal me, but it doesn't recharge my shield. Got it.
I gotta make sure I have... I got my major boss shredders on. Okay. So this is gonna be about as much damage as we're gonna be able to deal. Without the fire roll. It's honestly not so bad. It is capable. It can do it. It's gotta not misplay. Enough times, you know what I'm saying? That's a run right there? Yep. Oh, he doesn't like that close up. He doesn't like that close up. I guarantee you that. He does not like that. He likes to fight at range. Get right up close to him. Three shot fade away. The abdomen. Good night. Got me a Jacob's Company man with magazine size and reload speed. With 50% magazine size, please. Oh, vermi. Vermi, vermi, vermi. I don't think my finger could take doing this farm, honestly. It would be the ultimate training. Hey, Pat, this is what I actually do need you to just come rescue me. Okay. Congratulations. We got through. Doll company man? Oh, could you betray me like that? What's the wagon wheel do? On hit, additional ricochet spawn. Okay. I like having that extra text. To give me to let me know what it actually does. Ringer. Bomb steal 50% damage on bolt into an enemy. Can otherwise be shot to proximately uh, explode. Interesting. Okay. What are we at? We're at 56 minutes. We just took down one of the strongest, tankiest raid bosses in the game. I think that we can go ahead and say that this gun has has got the juice. Should we take it to one more? The Malawan takedown? And see if it can clear Wotan. You know what? I think we should. The takedown at the Model 1 Black Site. It's my first time doing it on this flat character. So I actually have to navigate to the planet. Let's watch. Ho 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 ho. So cool. I think, not on this occasion, we might rip a diamond key. What do you say? Before our very first Malawan Black Sight attempt on Flak, let's rip a diamond key. Ooh. Always oh, shiny. Ember's Purge. You already know I'm, I'm eyeing up the Ember's Purge. Blood Starved Beast. You know I'm eyeing up that Blood Starved Beast. I sold mine. Unforgivens? Yeah, I find them all the time. Oh, a Cryo Blood Starved Beast. Ooh, let's see what the rolls are for this monarch. And a reflux times. Yeah, let's see what the rolls are for this monarch. Yeah, the damage could be a lot higher. Alt fire singularity. Wow. Interesting. I think it's going to be either. The Bloodstar Beast. I want to see if the Bloodstar Beast has an equal chance to roll Corrosive and Cryo. Okay, it's equal in all the elements' chances. So I think I'm going to be taking this Cryo Bloodstar Beast. Okay. Next up, Grenage. My Tosis Hunter Seeker would be nice. So I have one, but it is not elemental. Also check, also always looking out for cloning maddening trackers. Okay, didn't see anything that great. Let's do... A 
I'm noticing that I have terror annoyance on. Which is kind of cool. A mesmer with melee attacks applied terror could be funny. Recharger, stinger, a snowshoe. Wouldn't mind a second snowshoe. Red card makes you immune to... No, when you slide into enemies, that's what it is. Madcap. Big boom blaster. Doesn't look like I got anything too crazy. I mean, there's an impaler. This car is cool too. Recharger, recharger. I think this stinger is good for like melee builds, right? Let's get another frozen snowshoe. I want mine a second copy of it. Okay. Our final thing is an embrace the pain. Okay, could have asked for better. Let's go ahead and use the drop pod and get over to the Malwan Black site. All right, let's go. It's my first attempt at the most, uh, probably, probably the most repeated activity I've ever done in a Borderlands game. Take down at Malwan Black site, an amazing raid. One of two raids in the game. And raids just being big ol... Big ol' areas with lots of enemies and a tough final boss. Take down, and then when you enter, you get a new quest to enter the facility. But apparently, there's like a there's like a, a bug if you open up these, something bad happens. So I'm, not, I'm not even going to bother touching those. Turn on true Vault Hunter mode. So this is going to make it... Uh, harder. This is the harder mode. Let's do it. We still have our same... Oh! We don't have our... Our amped up Lucky 7. We're going to have to re-roll it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's see how many rolls it takes us. If it gets crazy, I'll cut it out of the video. Oh, there's two in a row of nothing? So I'll put it so you guys can see it a little bit better here. When you want one, three, four, and five. Don't want that super fast fire rate. We need one and five. With one and five, we can utilize. Okay, no splash damage, but it's it's fire. It'll be good for this first section, then we'll, we can reroll it after. Let's go. Make sure all of our Terra gear is on. Revolter, good. I don't want any other guns on all. Just so I don't accidentally swap. All right, let's go. I don't like to skip it by running and killing those laddies. I like to take on these ratches. I don't know, I feel like this is a good ratch, like fighting ground-based enemies is just fun, especially when they're flesh, because you know, as a most player, I do fire damage. Oh. Now we're on flak and we rolled fire, so let's use it. I feel, it does feel right to, you know, we wanted one with facet fire rate over one with more damage and that's because we want to be able to reload on the fly and get something usable i did not roll splash damage but that is completely fine and we still this is going to be with the event active one of these times when i don't have one of my when i don't have my pistol you know up and running i'm, I'm going to i'm going to exit the game and relaunch oh lucos never mind no i'm not oh maybe i am come on okay let's actually go to my keybinds And swap R and star again. So don't accidentally reload. Here we go. So yeah. I'm applying terror all the time. F this works really well with fadeaway. It works really well with rack attack. You can try gamma burst. I'm not sure how well it would work, but I mean heck, let's just let's throw on let's throw on the gravity snare, why don't we? When enemy trapped by flak is knocked into the air, they drop ammo, health boosters, and shield boosters. Sure. Let's go. Let's toss our gravity snare. The gravity snare. Pick it up. We're going to get it back really quick. The gravity yeah. snare. Give me that. I'm sorry. Ratches and ghosts. Did you ask for the... The gravity snare? Oh, he's outside it. That's rough. 
Go phase lock and it keeps going knocking him up too. It's pretty sick. Can I get the action skill cooldown back like while I'm in combat? You know, can I, in this phase, can I do it? No, it looks like it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, where's my gravity snare? My gravity snare. They're good. It looks like we can. I mean, we're still good with fire for now. Looks like so. The gravity snare. Pick it up. Fire a couple shots. As you can see, gravity snare is not. I mean, it's a cool idea, but it's just not it. Let's go gamma burst. Get big pet, big pet stuff going on. I don't know if this is going to generate enough terror, though, because Gamma Burst lasts a little bit too long. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it lasts a little bit too long, so we don't want to be running Gamma Burst. For the same reason we don't want to run Gorillas in the Mist, we don't want our action skill to take that long, because otherwise we slow down our terror generation. Which usually isn't a problem anyway, but... We can still run Gamma Burst just fine. Like, I still have three stacks of terror here. We're going to start deteriorating because I haven't used my action skill in a while, but... 18 seconds of terror generation. So it's six times you can apply six acts of terror applied per action skill use over 18 seconds. Pretty good. Let's go rack attack and cry out racks. Maybe we want to go healing racks, but I kind of want that cryo damage. I'm a fan of it. Because if I go up against a big armored enemy, I kind of want to just be able to hit him with my racks. Oh, yeah. If you guys are looking for, like, the end game challenge, this is, this is... Besides Guardian Takedown, this is the hardest, I would say. I mean, we're not at the bridge yet or anything like that. Flamethrower or Heavyweight or Counter. Let's see how we do. Okay, we're actually kind of stalled by him a little bit. There we go. Thought maybe my revolt would do a little bit more there, but last it to not. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this fight. A little bit nervous about it to be honest with you. Oh no! Kraken gets one shot. Are you kidding me? What is that damage? That's and that's without fadeaway active. That's just with revolter. You know, just spamming racket. That's just racket attack flag. Later. So we'll go see what the Kraken dropped. Maybe we just maybe just roll fire and just send it. Hey, don't hit me with that, huh? What do you say? Hey. Not cool, bro. Yeah, that's fire damage. It, it literally doesn't matter. Look at that. I mean, we're going to use it against Wotan, and he doesn't... He doesn't have any sort of uh, red health bar. So. Aiming down sight is a thing of the past, but it is what it is. We'll go, we'll go ahead and rip through. This has got to be one of the most fun guns in the entire game. Obviously. It's my number one. Let's go ahead and... Slap on Fade Away. With Taunt and Damage. Um, bum, 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 bum. So we have fire now. This is probably when I would want to swap over to corrosive, but Let's go see what fire can do against bosses that don't uh, have red health bars I believe these bosses are shields and armor Yeah Okay, so we one shot them Obviously that's what that that's where the stack bot comes in as long as my pet doesn't do damage to something and reset it. Oh! Um, but I feel like something happened where I'm doing, like, way too much damage, but... This is like, listen, if that's what happened, it's what it is. I feel like it's that stack bot going off, but it could be wrong. Oh, it is... I do have Revolter. I'm probably ripping these kids with stack bot, too. Okay, yeah, we're about to make... I mean, I've been holding off doing this takedown because I feel like I was going to get worked by it. But, I mean, we still have to get through, the, the, again, the bridge. It's the hardest mobbing, but maybe in the entire game. Besides maybe crystals, but crystals is hard for a different reason because you have to stay in one place. Bridge, you have to take down. I feel like there's a boss that I can shoot. 
Hit you. Jump across. Don't fall. Go. My stack bot just charges up so quick with this weapon. Even if my pet does attack something. Which it normally will be. But. Usually when you are running the stack bot, you, you combine it with fade away. And like, you know, like a monarch or something like that. Well, if you're running lucky seven, you can just use the stack bot and use any action skill. I just like fade away because it, I don't accidentally do action skill damage and reset my stack bot. Okay, let's go a little bit faster than my default. Here we go. Completely erased. Three burner. A Nimbus. Okay, let's keep it rolling. And rolling, rolling, and rolling, rolling. So yeah, this is the build I've been putting together. I think this is the one that I want to use. I'm looking for a terror crit damage on a shield. So if that's a thing, I can maybe start mixing in some sh different shields. Um, that aren't action skill and shields, just like decent shields. And then I get bonus crit damage while terrified as well. So I'll be giving up my shield anointment slot for like revolter strats. But I could just run like a Beskar or a super soldier. Or something like that, you know? With that anointment on it. I won't allow it. There we go. Our magazine never really is in danger. Boom, 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 boom. Frostweight. See you later. Get the health regen. Someone's hiding in there. Oh, flamethrower heavyweight. Okay, this guy is supposed to be our kryptonite. He's completely immune. We need to get our revolter up to help us do damage to this guy. It's a lot, it's a lot of what the revolter does for you is it diversifies your weapon profile. See that? Even though it does do like ridiculous damage and kind of broken, like it does help you push through enemies that are um, immune to particular things you do. So I don't, I, I can't diversify this weapon's profile anymore. Like, yeah, I could do. I guess I could I could go terror anoint terror anoint shield and then I can go like next two mags like next two mags corrosive or something like that I mean that could be insane we could go pretty nuts with this with this combo like next two mags corrosive lucky seven and just run like a I have a stop gap that has ammo uh ammo regen when terrified so I could just use that And knocks two mags, lucky seven would go insane. <laughs> insane. And you could run full damage on that one because you don't need to reload it as much. Because you, if you get it like a, say, radiation on it or something, then you don't need, then it's okay if you run fire or corrosive, probably. I probably want to get next two mags fire, but. If I run shock or corrosive, it could be fine. Going down is not on the menu. I seem to figure out where this person is shooting me from. There we go. Gotcha. There we go. No, we're not doing more damage than we should be. I think honestly, I just think our stack pack got pretty charged up. And running this without pet might make it a little bit easier, to be honest. I just really like having that security of pet, you know, to just get me back up. So what if my stack bot suffers? I can charge it up super fast with my lucky seven. Stacks up to 99 times, and I'm getting eight shots or seven shots most of the time, and eight shots some of the time. It was like 10 shots to get my stack bot up to full. 11 shots. You find 12 shots. That's not bad. And because I can never miss, or because it, it's okay if you miss and I don't crit, like every time I shoot the lucky seven, it's guaranteed getting me stack bot stacks. A pearl of enough knowledge will crazy on this. Like a mag size pearl of enough knowledge might be able to work instead of a Jacob's Company man. A Jacob's Company man probably does just as much damage as a pearl. This is the bridge, by the way. This is what we were dreading. Let's reposition while I'm fade away a little bit here. Oh, I just got a kill. Who's blasting me? You. Oh, that's a tough enemy right there. Pet should come and find me at some point. Looks like Pet's a little distracted. That's fine. You can be distracted, buddy. I just need, I need to pick up eventually. 
Oh, we have guard. We have our guardian uh, rank on, so our a fight for your life lasts a little bit longer. Hey, is what it is. We'll keep it's it's a it's a Malawan takedown. I'm gonna use it. Well, thanks, Pat. The one I had actually had something to shoot at. Yeah, in order to do damage to these armor targets, the revolter really does kick in. It would be cool if the revolter was somewhat nerfed, but you can get a revolter in like every other element. I think that makes sense. It'd be power crept, but it'd, it'd be cool. The revolt is already broken. It's the only reason I'm pushing through this as fast as I am, because he's. I'm going down a lot. I'm going to start dying instantaneously. Oh my gosh, this is why they call it the bridge, baby. Let's just back up a little bit. Plus an aid, why not? Something to do. Oh wow, what an accurate shot. Whoever this is is charging right at us. Storm Chucker. Need that fire damage to come in. Thank you. Play around Revolter. Take good shots. This one having a Mitosis Hunter Seeker with ammo regen or uh, with terror would be nice. With terror regeneration. Because then it can help me get my action skill back faster. We're making it all the way to Wotan. And apparently the bossing is what I'm good at, so. Knight. Storm Chucker. Okay, our re rolled fire, so we're chilling. This guy shouldn't find me. Oh, he definitely does. <laughs> Later. Rotor. Too easy. That ass ghost gone. All right, Wotan. That's all your defenses, brother. Okay. Terrified crit damage. Terrified crit damage. I also want to grab this shield. Because it's, it gives me terror generation on my shield. Because right now I have it on my grenade. I want to be able to mix up my grenades if I want. Sure, I'll be sacrificing my shield slot. But it'd be cool to get a grenade. Something or other going. Alright. Let's not even waste any time. Let's head right down to Motown. Bring it on, homie. Yes, sir. The Invincible. Let's see it. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my deeps. But we're about to one phase Wotan. It's these other mobs that we have trouble with. Is he hittable? No, I didn't think so. I'd say he's probably like doing some one of his weird phases or something. But his shield got annihilated because of Revolter, I think. Get up high. Oh wait, never mind. Want to be hittable? That's fine. If we had, remember, imagine if we had a corrosive one. I also think if we brought a corrosive version of this weapon to the party, it would be insane. Let's just use our fade away to get some distance here. And just wait out. I don't really want to go in there at all. Unless that shield fades away. You can see me for some reason. Back my action skill as soon as possible. I don't know how to get rid of the shield phase. Do you have to do you have to go inside? I would figure that no, you never really have to go inside, but let's grow out his little minions. Nice. Use our Stealth advantage? Yeah, so we get we get shredded when we go inside there. I'm wondering if you like you if you have to take damage when you fight Wotan. Not too sure. Wants to go mobbing phase on me? Wotan's better half? See uh, like you just get shredded. And then now you're just completely gone. That's a clean takedown. Good night. You did it, pet. Let's go. Lucky seven terror generation or terror ammo regen. Super sick. Beats Wotan. It beats Hemovorus. I mean, what what can't it do? This was the, I I 
you saw me just obliterate Wotan without splash damage with fire. It's a little bit insane. Anyways, that was a great time. I had a great time farming the weapon because it only took me one run, and it was a great time running around all the planets and destroying some of the game's hardest challenges. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.